No matter what sport or physical activity you enjoy, when you're dealing with a foot or ankle injury, it can bring your activity to a halt, leaving you in pain and sidelined. But it doesn't have to. Today I'll be discussing the nine most common foot and ankle injuries athletes experience. But before I do, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Dr. Ryan Berg, and I've been practicing podiatry for over 40 years in Seattle, Washington. I've also written an ebook called How to Stop Heel Pain in Runners. This is one of the most common sports injuries I see at the office. You can find a link to download it in the description below. If you find this information helpful, please remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and then hit the bell so you can receive a notification every time I release a new video. Our office treats a wide variety of sports injuries from sudden acute issues to chronic overuse conditions. First, I'll discuss acute injuries. Those are injuries such as ankle sprains, fractures, Achilles tendon ruptures, which can happen suddenly and require immediate attention. Some of the most common acute injuries we see are ankle sprains and fractures. They occur frequently in sports such as basketball, soccer, and pickleball. That's because these sports require a great deal of twisting motion. While many people think it's just a sprain and then don't do anything about it, this is a mistake. First, it could be broken. Just because you can walk on a sprain doesn't mean it doesn't also involve possible fracture of the ankle. And even if it isn't broken, it doesn't mean you shouldn't do anything about it. An improperly treated ankle sprain can lead to more serious complications down the line, so it's important to get it evaluated early on. Proper diagnosis and timely intervention are the key to preventing long-term problems. For example, untreated or an improperly managed ankle sprain can lead to chronic instability and persistent pain during all activity. Before you get to a podiatrist, I recommend using the RICE protocol. This includes rest, ice and elevation. Icing for 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off, using an elastic strap to control swelling, and keeping the ankle elevated above your heart level. Anti-inflammatory can also help with the pain and swelling as long as your provider improves it. Another acute injury we see at the office is an Achilles tendon rupture. These occur when the Achilles tendon is stretched beyond its capacity. While common in athletes like basketball players and soccer players who play frequently, it can also occur in weekend warriors who only play on occasion. Signs and symptoms of an Achilles tendon rupture are sudden pain, a popping or sudden snapping sensation, swelling on the back of the heel or calf, and difficulty walking. Again, use the RICE protocol immediately, and then your podiatrist. Overuse injuries are also common among athletes, especially those who increase their training schedules too rapidly, start new sports without adequate preparation, or wear the wrong footwear. We see such conditions as plantar fasciitis and Achilles tendonitis. In addition to the risk factors I've just described, these injuries are most common in athletes who have poor foot mechanics, tight calf muscles, and are overweight. Hill running or stair climbing can also cause Achilles tendonitis. I've put links to videos on the treatment and prevention of these conditions above. We also encounter athletes with stress fractures. These are tiny hairline cracks in the bone caused by the repetitive force that can occur in the lower leg and foot, and often not visible on initial x-rays. Additional risks for the condition include runners who overstride and women athletes who are underweight. I've put a link in the video above to learn more about the treatment and prevention of stress fractures. Overuse injuries can cause significant pain and limit your ability to train or compete, but with the right treatment, recovery is possible. Foot pain isn't just limited to the heel or arch. Pain in the ball of the foot is also common in athletes, resulting from conditions such as Morton's neuroma, metatarsalgia, sesamoiditis, and turf toe. These issues arise during the repetitive stress placed on the ball of the foot during activities like running, dancing, baseball, football. Morton's neuroma causes pain and or numbness, or feeling like a sock is wadded up in the ball of your foot between the third and fourth toes. It's the most frequent cause of ball foot pain. While participating in sports is the main cause, wearing tight, pointy shoes and having an abnormal foot structure like flat feet can also put you more at risk. I've put a link in the video above 
so you can learn more about the treatment of Morton's neuroma. Chronic ankle instability is another issue many athletes face. Repeated ankle sprains or inadequate healing from a previous sprain can weaken the ligaments and lead to a persistent feeling of the ankle giving way. Addressing this condition early with proper treatment and rehabilitation is crucial to restoring stability and avoiding further and repetitive damage. Finally, toenail problems are frequent in athletes who wear shoes or boots that are too tight or too loose. Ingrown toenails, blackened toenails, distorted toenails, and fungal toenails often plague runners, hikers, and other athletes. I've put a link to a video on runner's toe above. You can learn how to prevent these problems from occurring. At the Foot and Ankle Center of Lake City, we're dedicated to helping you overcome these and other sports-related foot and ankle injuries. We use the latest techniques and therapies to ensure you receive the best possible care from diagnosis to recovery. We're here to help you heal effectively, regain strength, and return you to the active lifestyle you love. Also, remember, if you find this information helpful, please remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and then hit the bell so you can receive a notification every time I release a new video.